okay hi i'm dr anjendra tagge i am a practicing sexologist and a psychiatrist i have my clinic here in kalyanagar in pune see to be honest this physical and the psychological changes are very tightly interlinked okay and because it has a lot of societal and cultural connotations attached to it because we as we grow up we have standards of how we look and beauty and all of that based on how society interprets us and how we are expected to carry on but if we start accepting aging as a natural process of life then we stop worrying too much about the gray hair or about the wrinkles that start appearing on your skin or the skin tone etc which should not really be a concern as the age advances but as far as the more sexual aspect is concerned yes there are body changes which are which happen in both the sexes and that can affect more on a psychological level than a physical level i already spoke of the biological changes that happen but psychologically yes okay if if we subscribe to the if we endorse too much to the social societal expectations then it becomes too much of a burden to live in to a certain standard as far as that is concerned firstly by talking about it grief death or any painful and unpleasant experience we have a tendency in our society whether it's east or west we just don't talk about it anything that we fear about we tend to brush it under the carpet because it's too unpleasant an experience for instance right from childhood we are used to telling children when children ask things like okay what happened to grandfather where did grandma go when they pass away we tend to tell them okay they are somewhere but when they will come back and then with that those things will never happen to you so what we are doing is we are suppressing the anxiety regarding that then and there but it's a natural thing which we are going to confront later in life so if we don't prepare ourselves right from childhood by talking about it we are going to create a lot of anxiety in the future so the best way to deal with grief with anxiety and fear regarding death is to talk about it once we start talking about death what we understand is that it's an existential fact it's inevitable it's going to happen but if i keep thinking about it what i'm going to do is i'm not going to live my life today so what happens is awareness of death as a final existential outcome tells me that i need to start living my life right now see the one of the things they say about sex sex is a great levelizer okay it levels your anxiety regarding death now nobody talks about death but as we start approaching that age where we start thinking about death which we never talk about in our adult life we start fearing so one of the philosophers said socrates he said a life to live to die well we need to live well so if you have a lot of regrets and if you've not lived your life you always fear death and then the anxiety increases the depression increases and you fear dying okay and that translates sometimes into an increased disproportionately increased sexual activity i have seen so many times 60 year old 70 year olds or even 80 year olds people coming or brought by relatives by son by and the common is complaining being okay this gentleman having a sudden increase in sexual desire showing in inappropriate activity for sometimes sometimes undressing themselves in front of their partners masturbating in front of their partners okay so this can happen because sex becomes that on a psychological level that instinct that survival instinct that quells the anxiety of death okay secondly there are mental uh, illnesses like bipolar disorder which are also quite common so in a phase of mania a person can lose all judgment and there are patients who come here in my clinic where relatives complain that they suddenly start undressing themselves they demand more for sex okay they they start on porn, uh, watching pornography more okay but that's in the phase of mania and that's a treatable condition as far as bipolar disorder is concerned also depression itself what happens in depression i always believe are these three natural biological instincts which is our sexual desire or appetite and our sleep they either go up or they either go down so if you have an emotional well being which is balanced these all natural instincts stay balanced as well.